Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to this course of Cisco ASA on my YouTube channel, Zero to Hero Cisco ASA, right? So from basic to advanced, you will cover everything in this uh, Cisco ASA training. And my name is Varun Tapkureshi, and uh, this is basically the third uh, lesson on on my channel, uh, which is uh, regarding to this course of Cisco ASA. And in in the past two um, uh, lessons, we have discussed about the basic um, um, uh, default flow of the uh, of the ASA and basic configuration of the interface. What is the difference between the interfaces configured on a router and on this Cisco ASA? So basically, we came to know that um, we have two additional parameters which are mandatory on the Cisco ASA interfaces that you need to do. One is the one is the uh, uh, name if, and the second is the is the uh, security level. And security level is with what uh, uh, governs the uh, default traffic flow on the Cisco ASA, right? And the name if you can have inside, outside, anything, DMZ, anything, but but uh, the inside uh, keyword, right? Inside keyword has a special preference because when when you say inside on any interface whether it's caps small or mixed letters the security level would be by default assigned as 100 so we will see that in action in the lab that we are going to perform and uh, and also see the uh, uh, i mean the def default traffic flow how it works and i also told you that 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 the icmp services are by default running so that means i can uh, uh, ping any interface on the cisco asa from outside inside dmz whatever i want so for this um, uh, i have the lab that is this one so let's go and configure all the uh, what routers and uh, and the uh, 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 Cisco ASA on this, right? So I have the uh, config already prepared for the for the routers. So for example, for router R1, uh, so that uh, I save some time. So I just prepared this. So on R1, I have the interface IP address. So let me just wipe this quickly. Uh, no, let's just go and wipe it here. Okay, wipe this. Wipe this. So this is like clearing all the default, uh, I mean, previous configurations. And I will start, I will start, I will start this. I will start this, okay? So basically what I've done is on a config key and then the host name is R1 and on the geek00 interface, this one, I have uh, uh, added uh, uh, an IP address from this range. 11, 11, 0 and the router's uh, number will define the last octet. So this is dot one and no shut. And I should have interface uh, loopbacks, right? Loopback zero IP address is say 10, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5, 0. And then I should have again an interface loopback one uh, IP address is what? Uh, IP add or address is fine. 10, 10, 10, 1. Again, the uh, 255, 255, 0. So as I said, we don't have any uh, concept of wildcard mask on the uh, AC, right? So I can say 2 and IP address. You will see that also in action. 10, 2, 2, 20, 20, 21, 255, 255, 255, 0. So that is what I need to do. No shut on the this interface 01, which is going to the Windows PC here, which I'll use in the later videos to do the uh, ASDM. ASDM is nothing but the graphical version of the management console and you can configure the AC through graphical uh, user interface as well as CLI, which we will be doing the most in this series, uh, CLI. And uh, and then I go and configure a default route for uh, this router to reach, any, reach anywhere outside or in the DMC, whatever, right? So I'll just copy this on the R1 and let's go to R1 and what about, yeah. So I'll say no here and R2, I'll show you. Okay, this is R3, R4, okay, it's all R3. So I'll just disconnect this and disconnect this as well. So this is R3 is already there, this one. I need R4, this is 3772. I go to the session option and the port needs to be changed to two. So this is R4, now I need R2, which is 3771. 
I'll go here and I'll change the port to 3771. Okay, this one. All right, so I have R four, which I'll say no. I have R three. This should be what? This R three only. I have R two. I should have R one now, right? I need R one, so I'll disconnect this. And what is on R one is 3770. I'll go to the session properties and do L3770, enter. And I should hit no here as well. So I'll just track this here too. And I'll say no here on R2. Report R3. R3 is up. R4 is will be also up in a while. So R1 is coming up. R2, R3, R4. Okay, so on. Let's move on quickly, guys. So I'll configure the uh, routers. One, two, three, and four. One is inside, two is outside. Three and four are the DMZs. Uh, so let's go to, let's wait for this. And then I have the ASA. Let me show you the ASA. So this is the console of the ASA. And in the ASA, uh, you, you okay, basically you will end up here. This is your uh, user exec mode. And as, as in a router, uh, to go from the user exec mode to the privilege mode, you will uh, enter enable and hit enter. Now, Cisco will prompt you for a password, which nobody knows because there is no password. So you just need to hit enter here and you will be in the privilege mode. Now from here, uh, if you want to go to the configuration mode, just type the same config terminal command, enter you are in, in the configuration mode. Now, if from here, if you want to go to any interface configuration mode, so you just hit and go to the interface and you are inside the interface configuration mode and, and like anything any other router and all you will specify the ip address and all but you have two additional parameters that i said you have the security level and the name of which needs to be uh, uh configured here on the ac okay and for the uh, other commands you have the uh, for example you have the show ip interface brief in the uh, cisco routers right but here uh, the, the command has been slightly changed so you don't have any command starting with show IP. So you have this command as show IP interface brief. Okay. And likewise, if you want to check the routing table, so you had in the, in the router as show IP interface, uh, sorry, show IP route, but here it's only show route. So no IP keyword is there. Okay. Likewise, show, show, uh, show NAT, show NAT. If you want to do, you, you can see the NAT, NAT uh, rules. Show, show XLATE again, the translations that has been done and show. So you can just hit a question mark here and, and see what you want to see, right? Uh, every command is there. So these are the show uh, configuration command. Then you have uh, another one that is the show name if, right? So that is again a important command for the uh, verification because uh, by typing in show interface IP brief, you'll see the interface and the uh, IP address, but you will not see the name if and the security level, right? So just to check what version I am running on the Cisco AC, show version, hit enter and space, and you'll see what uh, things you can do on the AC. You, are, you can run maximum 50 VLANs, you can have unshared host unlimited, you can have active active failover as well. And right, and you have security context too. We will see in the future videos what are context, and then you have the cluster disabled. But to show um, cluster and VPNs, I'll use a different version of Cisco ASA. Okay, but this is uh, Cisco 9.10. Uh, yeah, 9.10. Uh, this is basically Cisco ASA V. So yeah, so let's go to our routers R1 and paste the config. So this is my router R1 here. I'm pasting the config and done. And, and to verify the configuration, the famous Cisco command show IP interface brief. So I have my interface system. Let's move on to R2, which is our outside uh, router. Okay, so this is R4, R3, R2. Enable config IP address is nothing uh, fancy here, just the default configurations. Okay, so R2 is done. And, and, and let's check again, verify the show IP interface brief to see the status is up or not. Yeah, up. Now let's move on to R3 quickly. And, and go to R3 here and copy the R3. Uh, I think I did a cut there. 
So this is R3 basically. So I'll go to R3 and paste it here. Yeah, I'm right. And then I have R4, which is here. And again, copy and here, paste. Right. So basically, this is the uh, bare minimum configuration on the routers. Show IP interface brief. If I do, you can see all the routers. Now let's move on to the AC. Okay. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to configure the. Uh, okay, let me just minimize this. I have a table created, uh, but I mean, so so what you need to do is. Uh, you need to configure the inside, outside, and the DMZ interfaces. And you can see the uh, subnet that is associated with the with the link. But the interfaces on ASA would be dot ten. So every interface, whether it be inside, outside, DMZ, should end with dot ten. So that is the uh, logic in my lab. So I have a table here somewhere, which can help you. So these are the configuration commands I showed you. I interface IP brief and all. And then this is the one. So gig zero one, this is the IP address, name is name if it's outside and the security level is zero. And inside security level 100 and IP address this one, right? Like that, so you, like that you can do. But I will just do this uh, watching on the lab, right? So I have my lab here and I'll go here and I have the Cisco ASA. So gig zero zero is my internal interface. So I'll go to the config terminal, then interface uh, gigabit zero power zero. Uh, and the IP address here is uh, 10, 11, 11, 10. But uh, as I said, you can hit enter here, but it will uh, take the uh, default mask that is uh, slash eight for 10, right? So if I enter here and do a show or uh, run interface gigabit zero zero. So this is again, if you want to see specifically the running configuration of an interface, you can do this. And the best part is you don't need to add the do keyword here. So, right, you can see the mask has been taken as slash eight, right? Which you don't want. So I'll go here and specify the slash 24 mask. But if you had a class C IP address, hit enter, done. You don't need the mask here. Next, what I said is we need a name if command, name if. And what I said was when you specify name if inside any case the security level will be set to 100 right so just watch when i hit enter so you can see the info on the screen security level for inside set to 100 by default because of the keyword inside okay next what i need to do is secure i don't need to do the security level but sometimes maybe some bug or what so you can just do it for your uh, comfort, right? So next, uh, okay, I've done. I need the no shut command now. That's it. So now let's move on to the outside interface. That is my G01, okay? Interface gigabit zero power one. And I will say IP address. This is basically public. So 192.120.10 is my IP address, 192. 12010. So here, if I hit enter, this, this is a class C. So I don't need. It will by default take the. Uh, it will by default take the slash 24, right? So if I go gigabit 01, you can see it has taken the slash 24. Right. So next is the name. If. So as I said, whenever I configure any name if apart from the uh, inside, right, it takes the security level as zero. Now hit check this when I hit the enter. So it has set the security level to zero. So now here it's mandatory. You can, uh, I mean, we have to keep it as zero. So no issues, right? And then the no shut command, right? Now next move on to let's let's check the show interface IP brief command, right? You can see the IP address status of L2 and L3, uh, L1, sorry, and also the interface number. But if you check show name if it will show the security level as well as the name if of that interface right so next let's move on to the third interface that is geek zero bar three uh this is my uh interface gigabit zero bar three this is actually the name of is dmz4 dmz4 as just to confirm yeah dmz4 
and the IP address 192.168.4.10.255. I don't need, but I can do this as well, just to show you. So if you check show run interface gig zero bar three, you will see the, and also the security level is zero, right? So, but we have to change the security level to 50, right? And then move on to the next interface. Uh, that is gigabit zero by three, four now, I think, yeah. Four, no, two, that is two, sorry. That is two, this is my uh, IP address should be 192.168.3.10 and enter and name if is actually uh, DMZ3. Yeah, DMZ3 and security level is 50. Done. And you can save by write, write command or write memory command. Okay, so that is done now. Let's check the show name if command. And you can see uh, we have the inside, we have the outside DMZ all set with the, uh, sorry, not the, this uh, interface brief, with the IP addresses that we wanted, right? So now from here, as I said, I should be able to ping all the routers on the segment, right? So on this segment, I have R1, on this segment, I have R2, R3, and R4. So if I go and ping, say, let's 10.1.1.11.1, they should be pingable, right? And likewise, if I ping, 192.120.2 that should be pingable and if I ping 168.3.3 that should be pingable uh, 191.68.3. Okay, that's down. So I need to go, you can see these two interfaces. I think I missed the no shut command. So if I go here, mm, config T interface D0 bar 2, no shut and 3 no shut, right? So, and also you can check the show route command. Um, instead of show IP route, you have the show route command, right? You can see all the interfaces now are up. So now if I do the uh, earlier ping, which was not working, 3.3 .3, and also 4.4, .4, which is on the DMZ4 part that is working. So that is one thing. Mm. You saw the basic uh, configuration. Now, uh, if I go on the router R4 and try to ping this, this uh, interface on G0, uh, what do you say? So this one. So from R4, if I try and ping this interface, which is which is actually .10, uh, will that be reachable? Will that be I mean allowed? Uh, so let's see and uh, and confirm right. So on R4, I'm going to my router and I'm going to ping 192.168.4.10. That is the IP address of the AC and this will work because as I said, the uh, the uh, two traffic is governed by the uh, services and by default ICMP service is running on the AC. So how can you see that is if I go to AC and exit and say show run say policy. Okay, now. Let's check the whole running config. And at the last, you can see inspect. Here, this is the policy map, global policy, class inspection default. And you can see uh, these are the uh, ones where you inspect the, what? The uh, traffic, right? You have, you have the, um, okay. You have the TCP and uh, these uh, traffic inspected here. Okay, so this is the one, uh, okay. And, and if you check, you have this here, show run service, nothing is there like that. But as I said, if you want to configure any telnet or something, uh, then you can go and turn the service on, right? So this is where you specify the um, default uh, inspection. Uh, this By default, the TCP and uh, UDP is inspected all these protocols you can see ESMTP email uh, then you have FTP then you have TFTP then you have RTSP net BIOS IP options these are all inspected and it will create the uh, uh, the connection table right so because of the ICMP uh, being uh, uh, being allowed uh, that's why we are able to ping the outside interface of the AC so if you go to any file or router here 
and try to ping any interface. Uh, I mean, not through interface, but to uh, on the same segment. Okay, for example, 10, 11, 11, 10, this will work. But if I try to ping this one, right? Uh, say DMZ 3.10, this is again the same uh, what? Uh, firewall, right? So what I'm doing is I'm pinging from here to I think three. Yeah, so that means I'm pinging the firewall interface, but that will not work because that is again a through traffic. Okay. So let's clear this. And also if I try to ping from here to this this guy R3, that will not work. For that we need an ACL and we'll be seeing this in the consecutive videos uh, where I'll be explaining you to uh, the uh, uh, the configuration of the ACLs, right? So that is uh, the basic initialization of the ACL and some commands that you can um, uh, use to verify, show name if, like that, show run interface, all the interface running configuration you'll be able to see and et cetera, et cetera. So you uh, have the CLI, you can go on and hit question mark and try all the configuration commands that you want to test. Okay, so that's it for this video. And uh, in the upcoming videos, we'll go through the ACL rules, natting rules, all those stuff, and we'll do the theory as well as lab. So stay connected and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share the videos as much as possible. So bye-bye for now.